My name is Wellison Jeffrey, and this is the Workers' Rights Platform. Now, a lot of things have been taking place in and around Trinidad and Tobago, and one might ask the question, why? Now, I ain't going to go into all of them things today, but what I am going to talk about is the conditions of our roadways. This is something that we care. I mean, we have to constantly be reiterating. Now, I'm going to show you a pit here from Rock Road. Now, some of you would have said, you know, you know, um, the PEP, Philip, that word man show. Now, I am going to show you there are different people that is on the ground that is doing what they need to do from out of their pockets to assist the people in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, to assist the people. Because some of the times, you know, you just have to do things on your own. You know, it have a saying that when nobody is there to save you, sometimes you have to save yourself. But that is what the residents of that area would have done. They would have reached out to the government and members of the opposition. No help. And they would have reached out to Philip Alexander, the PP. And you know, this was their project. We can do what we can do. We can do what we can do. We <laughs> we're here inside Rock Road Pinal and this piece of road gave away five months ago I am here today as the shadow MP for Separia we brought some material that was donated to us by some good citizens some oil sand and some gravel and we're going to spread it on the road here so that the citizens here could traverse this road with a little ease. We're hoping that this shake the people up to come and fix the road. So I want to ask one of the residents to say a few words. Good evening, sir. And your name is? Razak Mohammed. This is Mr. Razak Mohammed. Yeah. And behind us and is the home of his son. Yeah, and the horse is moving inch by inch. Every day gone, inch by inch in moving. So, could you tell us and the kind of pressures you all face in here as a community because of this landslide? We're we facing real pressure, real pressure. Every day is pressure. So we, when them when them car passing here, taxis and, and um, private car, and they have, they, have, they have people in the car, they have to come out, and they have to walk over, and then jump again, and then and the same thing, backward and forward. You know, and, and that is what we You know. all made um, calls and plea for help from the relevant authorities. And what was the outcome? Well, nothing. Nothing. We had a protest yesterday. Nobody has shown up. It's only the media show up. No, no, nobody from the uh, Ministry of Works or, or local government, nobody has come. All right. right. So, sir, so I can tell you something. Are we there? Are we there? Holy, I see the holy, I see the here. The Progressive Empowerment Party understand your plight. Yeah. We understand you all, please. Mm -hmm. And we're here today to see what we could do. As I said, the materials was donated. Yeah. And we're going to spread it out for you all. Right? I want all you to understand this. PEP is always here to help. Right. we always here to help. Right? Mr. Philip Alexander, 
unfortunately he couldn't be here today <coughs> right but he said that he will be coming okay right he guaranteed me that he'll be coming here to see what the citizens of penal rock road facing because this is not the only landslide we have well someday someday in the week he might come up someday right he might come someday so he might turn up here so we will see him and we will talk to him we have nice things in store we have a 21 policy program if we should get into government or when we get into government i should say yeah. that we going to put into place mm -hmm. and i can guarantee the citizens of trinidad and tobago that they will benefit immensely mm -hmm. from the 21 policies as long as we get into government yeah. right so look we have another vehicle coming here yeah you'll take you will see how this vehicle have to pass it So, all you tell me is this how our tax dollars working for us? Tax dollars and gas dollars, the five percent they take out and then they take out more money again. More is this what the gas. citizens have to Nothing. face? And we have a elected government, a democratically elected government that's supposed to be working for all the people in Trinidad. Is this what we had to go through? Yeah. We go fix it, we go fix it, we go fix it, PEP go fix it. No jobs, no safety, no water, no justice, no accountability, bad roads, corrupt politicians, no more. We're going and fix it. So, we say PEP will fix it, and we did fix it. Now the residents could pass here, comfortable, to go home and to go to work. Go to work yeah. No more dragging and then. Fellas, are you satisfied? Yeah. yeah. Satisfied. This is PEP working for you. 100% yeah. better than we was. Thank you. We're going and fix it. It's time. Now, you would have seen what would have been taking place there. Ask yourself, we have a government. Yes, everybody know that they're not doing what they ought to do. But we have our opposition. Who absorbed the opposition? They are on our payroll too. Why are these matters and not being highlighted by them? I ain't gonna put no image in your brains. Think for yourself. Because here what's going on? The government that be 
will do anything in their power to try to stay in power. When they're supposed to be doing the right thing, assist the people. And the opposition is not far. They will do anything to try to unseat our government. Now, there are people that are suffering in the balance. And sometimes, we must put these things aside and treat with the people. Not sometimes, you know, but all the time. All. All the time, we must put these things aside and deal with the people of the country. Because people like me, people like you, are suffering in the balance. So, as I say, when the time come, put your finger where it is worth it. That is where it is.